Hey everyone, how's it going? Tim Eister here and welcome back to Rockport in City Skylines. That's right, I'm booting up City Skylines 1 for the first time in months. And I'm going to start things off by working on the city's main international airport. And it's going to be no simple task because I'm dealing with a very, very tight quarters here between this highway and this river. It's not going to be a simple feat to build this airport, but it's going to be fun. It's going to be challenging. And uh, you'll see later on in this episode how everything turns out. I think it turns out just fine, but uh, you'll just have to watch through the episode to see the progress and how this airport is built. And guys, I couldn't be more excited to start things off back in Rockport after, what is it now? Three or four months since City Skylines 2 was launched. So I completely stopped playing City Skylines 1 since the launch of Cities 2. And um, I just recently picked up the game. I just felt like it was time to jump back into the first game because it is still very relevant to this day. You know, um, with all the DLCs and all the extra content, the mods, everything that is available for this game. I think it's going to remain relevant for years to come, even after the launch of Cities 2. And yeah, I couldn't be more excited to jump back into the game and continue the beloved city of Rockport, which is very sentimental to me at this point. It's one of the cities that I've put the most effort into. I've invested a ton of time into this city. You guys seem to really love it. And I just want to continue this city for as long as I can. And I'm hopeful that one day I'm able to at least come close to finishing the city. And I can promise you there's going to be a ton of episodes to come because I'm a long way from finishing the city. So what's going to happen in this episode is I'm going to start things off by building the infrastructure to the airport because of course people need a way to get to the airport itself so that means roads highways all that kind of stuff and then i'm going to start to work on the actual airport here in a little bit so you see me move this pre-existing y interchange or t inter interchange and uh, this was actually part of the base map and i really really love this interchange and i just felt like I, I wanted to keep it somewhere in the city. So I had to relocate it because what I was building at the time, um, I, I didn't need this interchange. It was kind of in the way, but I loved it so much that I wanted to keep it. So I shoved it off over here in the airport area and I figured, well, you know what? It looks cool. I'm going to use it for the airport itself. And also what is working in my favor with this interchange as well is it's very compact. It's very small. So it's a perfect location for it leading into the airport and I think it fits wonderfully in this location. And you'll see throughout this video, I'm gonna be making heavy use of some pretty essential mods in City Skylines, which include Move It, as well as the intersection marking tool. And coming back into a heavily modded City Skylines 1 city after playing months of unmodded City Skylines 2, I almost forgot just how awesome these mods are and just how much we take for granted the modding community. And I almost felt like these essential mods became such an integral part of City Skylines that I failed to realize that, you know, they're they're created by this awesome modding community, right? Just literal volunteers who take their time to make mods for a game that they're passionate about. And I think that's awesome. And yeah, so playing City Skylines 1 full of mods just kind of re-sparked that appreciation for mods and uh, oh yeah here I kind of screwed up because I totally forgot that airport zones completely flatten the ground of uh, wherever you're zoning them <laughs> so I kind of messed up my river there for a second um, but yeah so uh, for now I'm gonna lay down the zonage of the airport and it's gonna expand a little bit uh, I just didn't want to screw up the terrain too much until I had a good idea on how the airport was gonna look but yeah like I was just saying I just, I'm super appreciative of the modding community in this game, and I can't wait to see what modders will come up with for City Skylines 2. So at this point, I laid down the runway, but then I realized it felt a little too long. And for this airport, I didn't calculate how long the runway should be. So in all the other airports that I've built, all the custom airports in almost all of my other cities, I kind of made a realistic calculation of how the runway should be long um, because each unit in city skylines translates to 
a, a certain distance in real life and then based on that you can kind of gauge how long a runway should be especially for a big international airport like this airport's going to be uh, but i didn't do any of that i just kind of went by feeling for this airport and yeah i, I just tried to get uh just to kind of like eyeball uh the correct sense of scale <laughs> um so for the terminals in this airport, I'm gonna go for the classic style. I, I forget what it's called exactly, but uh, as you see here, it's like the older kind of style. Um, I didn't want this airport to be ultra modern. Um, and I was kind of basing myself off of San Diego International Airport because it's in a similar situation as Rockport's airport in that it's kind of like crammed in between a rock and a hard place, like literally a highway and a river, right? <laughs> so uh, I, uh, it's in a very similar situation. I felt like this airport should be very similar to that. And yeah, I'm just gonna try to squeeze in as much infrastructure as I possibly can in this little area. It's not gonna be an easy thing to do guys, but you'll see by the end of this video, how everything pans out and hopefully you'll like it. So now that I've got a good sense of how the terminals are going to be set up, I'm going to work a little bit more on some road infrastructure and I'm going to try to get an idea of how I want these roads to function. Because with this airport, there's two levels, right? You have a upper level and a lower level. We could assume that one is like departures and arrivals, similar to a lot of other airports in real life. Um, so that makes things a little bit more complicated. You have to feed into and out of those two levels. And of course I got like this one highway coming through here. So there's gonna be a, a bit of an interchange in this location. Uh, but a lot of thinking went into this video, a lot of pausing, stopping the recording, spending 10 minutes or so, just kind of like, you know, testing to see if certain overpasses were possible and then deleting them and then going back into this video. <laughs> so uh, a lot of behind the scenes work goes into some of these videos. Especially I find when I'm building these time-lapse videos because it's not live, right? So I can really take my time to to build things properly and I know that the accelerated footage is going to look just fine. But sometimes no matter what you do, it just doesn't feel right or look right. And I often feel the need to just completely start over and that's what I had to do a, a few times in this case here. So. Of course, I'm trying to make this airport as compact as I can. That includes all the infrastructure around the airport. I'm trying to save as much room as possible. So some interchanges, well, it's that's just not possible, right? So uh, I'm going to change things up here a little bit and, uh, and build a different type of interchange than what I had originally thought of.
Also featured in this airport is going to be a cargo terminal, of course. I'm going to try as much as possible to include every single airport building in this build, despite the very limited space that I have to play around here. So I'm going to shove this cargo terminal off in the corner here, and you'll see how everything pans out. Um, I think this looks really, really cool. So although the way that my taxiways are going to be laid out, I'm, I'm really happy with the way this is going to turn out. Um, but you'll see here that because of the space constraints that I have, it leaves for some pretty interesting interchanges. So I was originally going to do uh, some sort of just regular diamond interchange, um, but then I incorporated the interchange into this cargo terminal. So it created like this weird kind of shaped interchange. Um, Luckily, there's not going to be too much buildings. I don't anticipate there being too much traffic in this area, hopefully. Um, because I don't think this interchange is going to be able to handle too much traffic. <laughs> but we'll just have to see. I know the cargo terminals can get pretty darn busy. And, and yeah, I, they're just not really optimized very well. Or at least they weren't, from what I remember. But we'll just have to see. If if it gets too clogged up in this area, I may have to like reconfigure some of these roads. But we'll just have to uh, let time tell. Anyways, I'm going to let you guys enjoy this time lapse for a little bit longer. And I'll check back with you in just a minute. Also, make sure you stay to the very end because I got some awesome cinematics coming up. All right, so I've spent some time laying down some of the airport features, such as some hangars. I finished the cargo terminal, plopped down some pavement, all that kind of stuff. Now I want to spend some time working on the actual airport terminal. And this is where things can get a little complicated sometimes. I often have to go look at satellite imagery of existing airports to get an idea on how these parking situations work and how I should build mine in whatever city I'm working on. Uh, so 
In this design, I opted for a simple solution. I basically built like a sort of weirdly shaped roundabout inside of the terminal area. So this road here just kind of goes in circles and you can just go into whatever parking lot you desire. So I added a couple of parking garages for some more short term parking, I guess, which is usually the case. And then the long term parking is usually in these open spaces. Or if not long term parking, it's usually cheaper parking because sometimes you got to walk a little farther or or whatever the case is. So in this case, the outdoor parking is pretty close, but we can say it's a little cheaper because it doesn't offer protection from the sky. <laughs> and uh, again, so I'm going to include every single building in the airport DLC somewhere around the airport. So within this terminal area, I'm going to include some hotels as you saw me uh, just plop down a second ago. And uh, there's also a really nice luxur luxury hotel that I wanna plop down in just a moment. But yeah, there's gonna be a lot of stuff crammed in to this terminal area. So here is the luxury hotel. And as I was plopping it down, I noticed that I have an output road that I didn't really know what to do with. So I just created an exit from the hotel. So I guess guests from the luxury hotel can make a quick, quick escape out of the airport without having to like do a loop around and go through arrivals and departures and deal with all that pesky traffic, right? They have like their own little exit out of the airport. And then right beside the hotel, I plopped down the airline headquarters, which is a very modern, fancy looking building. I think it fits perfectly where it is. And uh, that pretty much concludes the terminal area of the airport for the most part. As far as like plopping buildings and roads down, I am going to revisit the whole airport at the very end of this episode and go over all the detailing. So, you know, the usual shrubbery, bushes, trees, Whatever props I can think of that would look cool in an airport area. And a few other little buildings here, like you're seeing me plop down, some random offices and stuff. So I'm just trying to make this as complete of an airport as I possibly can, right? The airports aren't just limited to uh, whatever airport buildings are in the game, right? Airports are very large buildings. They include all kinds of warehouses and hangers, maintenance halls, you know, you name it, right? So if you're building an airport, don't be afraid to maybe add a few industrial or, you know, office buildings in the vicinity of the airport. And of course, it is super important to fence off your airport, right? You don't want any unwanted uh, trespassers to be running off onto the taxiways and runways. So it's really important to use fences to outline the entire airport. And uh, that is what I'm gonna go do here right now. All right, so at this point in the video, 
most of the actual functional stuff about the airport has been laid down. So we do have a complete functional airport at this point, and now begins more of the detailing part of this episode. And what I'm starting off by doing here is creating these, I'm not even sure what the correct term is for, for these uh, taxiways, but they're basically these exits that pilots can take to exit the runway a little earlier than they would normally have. So, so they don't have to like taxi all the way to the end of the runway. They can just take a, an exit if they can stop at soon enough, right? Um, so most airports around the world have these, most bigger international airports anyways. And uh, it's just like a convenience thing and, and a time saver really that uh, a lot of these airports have. So using some taxiways and a little bit of uh, move it magic, I was able to sink those taxiways just under the pavement of the runways. So they're actually functional. A plane could use them. And uh, the main reason why I did that was to prevent those uh, those no connection uh, icons from appearing above the uh, like the stubs of the taxiway. So I figured I would just continue the taxiway under the runway and then just pop it out at the other end. And uh, it it looks wonderful. It you couldn't even tell. And it's actually the first time that I used that little trick. I had never thought of it before, uh, but I'm glad it it worked out just perfectly. So, um, yeah, just a little bit more road lines here, guys. And, uh, you know, I have to outline just how good the road tools are in City Skylines 2. I know City Skylines 2 is kind of under fire right now, but if there's one thing that they did right is roads in City Skylines 2. I just love the way that the roads are lane-based and instead of node-based. So basically... It saves you from doing all the steps that I'm doing right now, right? So having to add these lines here and all these details, like it's just automatically added in City Skylines 2, which I'm really grateful for. But uh, yeah, luckily the intersection marking tool is pretty easy to use and you know, you can achieve some really great looking results with it. I remember when this tool first came out, it was pretty primitive uh, compared to what it is today. Like it is, not the same mod at all, um, but it's a really, really essential mod if you enjoy any kind of like road detailing or realism, anything like that. So moving on, um, of course the airport needs power. So I'm just going to divert power from the nuclear power plant uh, temporarily over to the airport. And of course we can't forget to bring some water over to the airport. This is another thing that City Skylines 2 has done a fantastic job on. Something as simple as water is so much easier in Cities 2 uh, where pipes are just automatically included under the roads. So I'm kind of grateful for that feature because if there's one thing I don't miss from Cities 1 is having to plop down water pipes and, you know, building random strings of power lines everywhere as well. <laughs> So with that being done, let's move on here to the detailing stage of this episode where I'm going to focus on basically just plopping down some trees, you know, beautifying the area, making it look like an actual prestigious airport. Um, so there's going to be a ton of palm trees and manicured bushes, and things like that around this area. I don't go as far as adding like some art and statues and little details like that. I, I don't go too crazy in this episode as far as detailing goes. Um, really, my goal with this episode was to create a really, really great looking airport um, from not not afar, but you know, I, I don't, I, I didn't really want to get into like the crazy detailing down to like individual props, I guess, except here, um, I, I just popped into my mind to uh, plop down some flags. So I think there's about like 10 different countries <laughs> that that the uh there's flags for in the game so i just plopped a few because i thought it would look cool you know it's a very worldly thing to have near an airport is just a bunch of flags right so again it's nice to get back into this detailing and back into cities one where you know there's there's really a ton to play with just because of all the mods all the dlc eight years worth of dlc you know i mean it's it makes for a pretty full experience, especially in a city builder, and especially if you like to detail 
your cities uh, to some extent. And at this stage, the airport is pretty much complete, but there is one last building left to plop down, which is the Aviation Museum. I love Aviation Museums in real life, and I love the fact that it's actually part of this DLC, so I'm going to make sure to plop one down in Rockport as well, at least near the airport. I couldn't make it a part of the actual airport just because I ran out of room, but I got a ton of room here just on the other side of the highway. And it's in the vicinity of the airport, so it's the best location I got for the Aviation Museum. And honestly, it's pretty cool because the Aviation Museum is going to be adjacent to one of the main highways running through the city. So there's going to be a ton of traffic driving through here, you know, viewing the planes that are just outside. So it's going to be pretty cool. The only thing I had to do in preparation of building the uh, museum was to build this little interchange here. And, uh, you know, th this interchange is going to serve multiple purposes. It's going to feed into the Aviation Museum, but it's also going to feed into uh, probably some residential neighborhoods that are near the airport, uh, just at the foothills of these mountains. And also, I encourage you to stay to the very end of this episode as I'm going to feature some wonderful cinematics of the finished product of this entire airport. And, yeah, I couldn't be happier with the way this turned out, guys. Like... You know, I'm, I'm impressed that things went so well after booting up City Skylines for the first time in like four months. I fumbled quite a bit, especially with 
the road marking tool or the intersection marking tool i mean uh but yeah it, it was just like it's just like riding a bike <laughs> right uh so I'm, I'm just so happy to be back into city skylines you know just having access to all the mods all the props all the buildings it's awesome it makes me appreciate things that are better in city skylines too and you know it, it brings uh the best out of what city skylines one can offer right so i'm going to continue playing city skylines one for a long while i think even probably years after city skylines 2 has launched i'm gonna con i'm gonna continue playing city skylines 1. so here it is guys here is the wonderful aviation museum you can see it's right by this highway here so drivers are going to get an excellent view of i think it looks kind of like a connie out front a constellation as well as a concord and a couple of other military planes it looks like so it looks really really cool at the foothills of these mountains so yeah again i'm just so overly happy with the way this build turned out oh yeah and before i forget one of these terminal buildings actually has a subway built in so i figured that i would just extend the green line heading from downtown and run it right into the airport so this will provide some public transportation into the airport area probably reducing a fair amount of traffic if i were to guess so i'm just going to extend this green line here and then add some stations back into uh or add some stops back into this little subway station and there we have it guys that is the complete airport so we got some cinematics going on now, guys, and I just want to say I really appreciate you guys watching my videos. If you enjoy them, don't forget to drop a like, drop a comment as well, let me know what you think, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get notified of future uploads. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching, and until the next video, take care.